I'm Dr. Gavin Svensson, and we're in the Invertebrate Zoology Laboratory at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and my research is focused on the evolutionary biology of praying mantises and the discovery of new species. Over the past five years, I've worked on research that is about to be published on the discovery of 19 new species of bark mantises. These bark mantises are from Central and South America, and they live in tropical rainforests and live strictly on the bark of tree trunks. They run very quickly and they actually actively hunt prey. And this violates our assumption of what most mantises are. And we think of them as being ambush predators, sitting and waiting for prey items. These will actually pursue prey, hide on the other side of trees, and even jump off of a tree and flutter to the leaf litter and play dead. I've gathered around 600 specimens of these bark mantids in museum collections in Europe, South America, and the United States. In addition to that, a number of the new species were discovered in the field in countries in Central and South America. All of these species are bark mantids, which means they are strictly associated with living on tree trunks and branches of trees. Most of the species are found in tropical rainforests, but some are in dryland habitats as well. But all of them behave very similarly, and um, they can be found just by walking through the forest and looking at trees, and you'll see them run up or down or around the backside of trees. And the collecting method is actually um, pretty weird because you tap the backside of the tree trunk to scare the mantid back to the front side so you can actually see it. Other methods of collecting prey mantises include using light traps, which are basically big, bright lights that insects are attracted to, and a lot of mantid species will be attracted to those same lights. We also use hand nets and simply walk through the forest and capture what we see. But we also go to the top of uh, trees in rainforest canopies, high, high up, and we do that through uh, climbing ropes, and we're able to sample mantises directly in those habitats. But the diversity of the group is pretty astounding, so you need a lot of different techniques to, to be able to find the species that you're after. We estimate there are about 2,500 species of praying mantises worldwide. They exist mostly uh, in the equatorial regions, in tropical rainforests and dryland habitats, in open savanna land habitats. Um, we have about 13,000 specimens of praying mantises here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, uh, some of those being from the Smithsonian Institution on loan to me for my research. Several of these new species are named for people that I hold in high regard, one of which is Litterguza al Gore, named for former Vice President Al Gore, who his work in making global climate change more in the forefront of our public awareness is, is something that I highly respect. Another one of these species was named for Martin and Chris Kratt, creators of the television program Wild Kratts, which provides educational information in a very entertaining format on animal biology. The discovery of these 19 new species triples the diversity of the group. And this is important because we need to document the species on this earth and we need to document what is in particular environments if those environments are threatened. It also creates the foundation to conduct future research in ecology or evolutionary biology.